Same voice. Itchy. Alathon, part two. You ask what happened to Arlathon? Sadly, we do not know. Even those of us who keep the ancient lore have no record of what truly happened. What we have are accounts of the days before the fall, and a fable of the whims of the gods. The human world was changing even as the elves slept. Clans and tribes gave way to a powerful empire called Tevinter, which... Jesus. Oh my god, that is loud! I have no... Uh, there is nothing making volume in my headset, so this is just cranked all the way. Love, Alec, thank you very much for the $5 donation. Let me get through this, uh, this entry, and I'll tell you what your $5 donation got for you. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a wonderful... I can do it if you want, but that's not it's not a Peter Griffin voice, it's just a weird voice. <laughs> it's a starting point for a voice that's gonna do something totally different and probably by the end of the entry be different from the start. Ugh. Beyond the Veil, Spirits and Demons. It it's challenging enough for the casual observer to tell the difference between the fade and the creatures that live within it. Let alone... Be, hold on, maybe if I talk out of the other side of my mouth. That's not helping. That's not helping. We'll just, we'll just go with this. Not used to it. Jackbox party is starting. I'm going to be switching to Lurk at the end of this. Sounds good. Uh, let's, let's get through this one. It's challenging enough for the casual observer to tell the difference between the fade and the creatures that live within it. Let alone between one type of spirit and another. In truth, there's little that distinguishes them, even for the most astute mages. Since spirits are not physical entities, and therefore not restricted to recognizable forms, or even having a form at all, one can never tell for certain what's alive and what's merely part of the scenery. It's therefore advisable for the inexperienced researcher to greet all the objects he encounters. Typically, we misuse the term spirit to refer only to the benign or at least less malevolent creatures of the Fade. But in truth, all the denizens of the realm beyond the Fail are spirits. Uh, browser, thank you. As the Chanter Light notes, everything within the Fade is a mimicry of our world. A poor imitation for the spirits do not remotely understand what they're copying. It's no surprise that much of the fade appears like a manuscript translated from Tevinta into a lesion and back again by drunken initiates. <laughs> it sounds like the old gangster voice. I'm, I realize that. You're doing great. <laughs> it's like try, trying to get a little squeakier than like, Hey, see? In general, spirits are not complex. Or rather, they're not complex as we understand such things. Each one seizes upon a single facet of the human experience. Rage, hunger, compassion, hope, etc. This one idea becomes their identity. We classify as demons those spirits who identify themselves with darker human emotions and ideas. The most common and weakest form of demon one encounters in the fate is the rage demon. He's a mad little guy. They're much like perpetually boiling kettles, for they exist only to vent hatred, but rarely have an object to hate. Somewhat above these are the hunger demons, who do little but eat or attempt to eat everything they encounter, including the other demons. <laughs> I can identify with that one. And then there are the sloth demons. These are the first intelligent creatures one typically finds in the fate. They're dangerous only on those rare occasions that they can be induced to get up and do harm. Desire demons are more clever, and far more powerful, using all forms of bribery to induce mortals into their realms. Wealth, love, vengeance, whatever lies closest to your heart. The most powerful demons yet encountered are the pride demons, perhaps because they, among all their kind, most resemble men. From Beyond the Veil, Spirits and Demons, by Enchantum and Dromo. <laughs> that hurts after a while. <laughs> it was like, alright... We're not doing Peter anymore, but we're, we've got a somewhat consistent voice going. Thank you, Love Alec, 
and thank you very much for your $5 donation. That was 